Oh. Don't mind me just occupying the Sky Car Park. This week, London's again being gridlocked by the loopy middle-class doomsday cult, Extinction Rebellion. But what these crusties don't get is that their protests aren't achieving anything or persuading anyone. They're just paying off decent people who resent being called earth murderers and who couldn't get to hospital or to work this week. Extinction Rebellion scream that they're defenders of the planet, yet they have no credible solution to save it. And their predictions of hellfire if CO2 emissions aren't scrapped by 2025 are hysterical cobblers. We all know the planet's in trouble, XR, but your only solution seems to be banning meat, cars and planes and dancing to trance music and singing stupid songs. You're a joke. And instead of knocking the government, how about getting off your idle backsides and infiltrating it? Climate change doesn't need direct action. It needs political action through the mainstream system, laws, taxes, incentives. Campaign for policies that work with people's lives. Reforest our lands, put taxes on air travel. But then all that smacks of hard work and is a lot less exciting than partying on London Bridge. <laughs> I'm saving the planet! So you admit that there's a serious problem, yeah. and for my entire life I've heard how we're not doing enough, we're not doing enough, we're not doing enough, and we haven't been doing enough. I mean, uh, I had to move out of London last year because having moved there for eight months, the air pollution for somebody with asthma, I couldn't even exercise, it just was intolerable for me. We have air pollution problems. There's a, there's a town in, in it called Fairbourne, which is going to be the first village in the UK to actually have climate refugees because they're, because of rising sea levels destroying the town. There is the fact that a large one of the reasons why we have such a, a, a refugee crisis in general is because certain parts of the world are becoming simply uninhabitable. So tell me, what are Extinction Rebellion doing to stop all that? They're making the point that the politicians need to get off their bums. The politicians have got off their bums. Do you know what's happening in this country already? You know, since 1994, carbon emissions have been cut by 44%. We, we account for just 1% of the world's global emissions. We, the Thames is cleaner than it's been in the last 20 years. The, the, the politicians have started their work. And all Extinction Rebellion do is tell you what we can't do. They set impossible targets, like getting, getting rid of all carbon emissions by by 2025. It's impossible. We don't have the technology. No, they're not getting rid of them. It's carbon neutral, carbon zero. Co yes, zero carbon. Okay, out. zero yeah. carbon. It's impossible to do it. You must know that, and they must know that, and yet they don't, they don't read the science. The science, they, they ignore the science. They have their truth, and if you don't believe their truth, it's a problem. Okay, You're a but, denier. But they've got very specific aims. They want the government to declare a climate change emergency and because they've dismissed the one that Theresa May called because it's been symbolic and pretty much non-binding. So when they've declared that, that, that's words. That's not doing something. That's yeah, words. They want, they want the government to actually set a binding target. And they want uh, um, greenhouse gases to be uh, reduced to net zero by 2025. And they want the government to create and be led by the decisions of a citizen's so, assembly. So yes. do you agree with this target of 2025? I think that yeah, I think that we should definitely aim for that and set binding targets so, to achieve that. So, which airports are you going to shut? I'm saying that you need to invest in the, in the technology. No, we, I'm asking you a question. Which airports are you going to shut? If the, te if the technology doesn't exist to achieve carbon neutral by 2025, that it's, it's the government's responsibility to invest Femi, in those it's, technologies. It's six or seven years away. Which airports are you going to close? I'm not saying we should. I'm not saying we well, should. Well, you have to because otherwise you're not going to reach target. You're going to have to virtually close down air, air, air and travel. stop cars going on the road. You have to stop air travel. You have to stop cars. You have to stop ships. Everything has got to and stop. And let's ban beef. Let's ban meat too. Let's all become vegans. Yes, let's become vegans. Look. You know, the thing is, their argument is lost because they've not properly made it. This is not a serious green group at all. Greenpeace is a serious green group. They're, they're fighting and campaigning to change things. This group just shouts death and destruction and doesn't Look. actually achieve Look, but, anything. But, but Carol, sorry, pressure groups have always had a look a role in politics, as they should. This is a, an effective pressure group in some ways. I mean, what, what, I suspect if they keep going, they become less and less effective because, yeah. you know, when you do something the first time it has an impact, I think it did have an impact. When you're doing it the 20th time, and for it two weeks. It doesn't have an yeah. people, trying, people trying to get to work. Yeah. People, taxi drivers can't work. So people who are not earning very much money being driven further into austerity. People like you complain about this government austerity. Extinction Rebellion is forcing people into austerity. But we come back to the debate we had here a couple of weeks ago. The trouble is democracy doesn't fit what you maybe need to do. That actually uh, m 
exactly the point you're making about airports, you're making about cars, you're making yeah. about, people don't want to do that. They want to actually continue, they, they don't mind being sympathetic, but they want to continue to fly, they want to continue to drive the cars, and, as I do. And that's what I'm saying, the green argument is not being made. So it's, it's very, all very well Caroline Lucas standing up and saying, take fewer planes. But if you want to take a family on holiday, you're going to go on holiday with a plane. And th this is the point, this is the disconnect for rational people in knowing what it is they have to do. And people like Extinction Rebellion aren't telling them what to do, and that's the problem, right? We're going to see um, one of the so-called uncooperative crusties in a minute, but I, I want to stick up for what they're doing. I mean, I think that it took 30 years for the first for, to get from the first meeting of the international panel on climate change to get to the paris accords which were signed up by most industrialized countries minus the us but they did 30 do that. years for the yes. for the world to get its act together mm. on an issue that margaret thatcher was actually one of the first world leaders to identify, you know, the, the because... The ball is rolling now. Extinction yes, Rebellion aren't making any difference to that. Yes, they it's are. Happening. But what about when they gave each MP a tree to signify that actually there are little things that people can do. If we planted X billion trees, we would combat but we know that. The greenhouse gas. Uh, yes, but that's something you can do without closing yeah, but, down but, but, all the airports. Yeah, but if we, if we get, pursue the, the argument that Femi's pursuing, factories will close. Yes. Factories will close. We haven't thought this through. We, we, you is that can't. About, it, it well, is factories about, will close it, it after Brexit. Well. Can we just no, hear hang from hang the uncooperative crusty before you get into your rant? Are you willing to be arrested today? Yes, I am. Why? Well, because unless we do something dramatic and make a lot of trouble, this terrible climate change disaster is going to continue happening. We need to raise the profile. We need government to listen. And whatever age, whatever sex or gender, we need to be out here. So I decided I've got nothing to lose. Um, it's, a, it's only two weeks. Uh, I think oh, they have so done a huge to amount to raise the salience. It's not impacting on your work. Is it costing it's not, and the it's police? Not, and it's not impacting on you trying to get to work. People go to work in hospitals. People, people uh, can't get on buses. Rachel, it's, it is, it, it, and it's the second time this year. And the cost. Two weeks. Huge rise and, and in what saliency. I think they're doing, I'm afraid, is they are... They're, it's a popular cause, but they're making it unpopular because they're so they're so inconveniencing people. And we're in a look, 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 Let me just make look. a point. When I was actually recording that outside, yeah. a member of the public harassed me because he thought I was a real person. He thought I was blocking a road in the sky. He harassed me. He swore at me. He called an idiot. That's what those protests yeah. do. Look. They alienate people. The middle classes of Hampton on the march. Yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the middle classes of Hampton on the march. That's what it is. You said that they're going about the, r the wrong way. You suggested that they should go. They should go into Parliament. Yes. Our democratic system isn't built for that. It, it, look, look the, the, the Greens have a similar vote, a vote amount of support in the UK as they do across Europe. Yet in the European Parliament, they have over 60 MEPs. Mm -hmm. In the in the UK. As you said, we have Carolyn Lucas. And they that's got because two percent of the vote in the that, 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 that's, that's, because, look, that's because they have a proportional, proportional representation. Now, if we had proportional representation in, in this country, then yes, maybe they kind of could stand a chance of getting into Parliament. But right, right. now, they don't. Femi. The best way they can do is politics. Femi. Femi. Is by reform is an argument for another time. Can I just say this? This argument about blocking bridges, access to hospitals. This is what was discussed on Sky News. Well, I think it's about this understanding of the wider perspective. Um, we have people on the bridges who can have conversations with people who are trying to get there, and there's potential of, you know, if people really, really need to get there, about letting them through, possibly, in that conversation. We're really, really sorry we don't want to be doing it, but we're running out of time, and this is what we have to do right now. I understand people are going to be adversely impacted, and some people are going to be impacted more than others, but the change that is coming, what is going to happen is going to... There is no escape for anybody. The famine, the grief, the war is going to impact on all of us. I'm afraid it's complete hysteria. Completely and over let, the top. Let me just say, global food production right, is going up as we speak. Yeah. OK. And they, yes. It's time we moved on. Um, I don't think we're going to crack it.